Hello everyone, this is Mr. Alperonin here, and today I'm here once again for my breakdown on Nomu. Now, I'm sorry guys, I'm just gonna admit it straight up, I think Nomu's a boring character. He's terrible, he wasn't well designed, sorry Bendai, but it's obvious that you didn't put much effort into the character. He doesn't have a plus ultra too, all of his moves don't really work together well, he, he, all of his quirk buttons kind of do the same thing, they're just multi-hitting things, just charge in on the opponent. But he does have some pluses, like he is really interesting guard pressure. Like he is like practically infinite on guard. So he will always be able to break a guard. Which is like probably one of the funnest things. Funnest, yeah, that's a word. <laughs> one of the most fun things about him. And yeah, that yellow attack is really good for anti zoning because he just jumps across the whole screen. But that <laughs> is probably the best thing about him is the, the big belly flop. And some of his combos are kind of fun using Shigaraki and stuff. There we go, 10,500 damage for a single dash cancel and a support. Pretty good. Anyways, let's get straight into his buttons. So his regular attack string is that. And that's it. You can cancel it into buttons. The air version is like the same, it's just two hits, and he, once again he can cancel it. Pretty interesting. His ground attack, his ground ye tilt attack, or his yellow attack, or armor attack, whatever you want to call it. Um, um, it's kind of slow, but it has pretty decent range, so you can use it to get in on the opponent if they do a button or something. It is quite slow though, so like they're almost 100% guaranteed to be able to block it. But it does pretty high damage for a yellow attack, so that's pretty good. Um, his air yellow attack, though, on the other hand, is like the best thing about him. This is the one thing I like about Nomu, is that he can just jump across the entire screen and belly flop on the opponent with this like massive yellow attack. Um, it's probably one of the best anti-zoning tools, so, or like counter-zoning. So like if your opponent's trying to throw projectiles like Bakugo here... Oopsie. I can just jump over whatever he's doing, and they're like... If the opponent's trying to run away and throw things out, like Darby or whatever, you know, you can just armor through them, or even just dodge them, because you're in the air. So a lot of the time, everything's just gonna miss. And then you're in their face, and you're on top of them again. Um, also, as I mentioned before, it has really, really amazing block pressure. Um, it's unsafe normally, but it can be cancelled into his quirk buttons, like, instantly. Which makes it practically either totally safe, or, like, really scary because he can cancel it into other buttons. So, yeah. A block string that he can do can look something like this, so like, two hits into like this. Wow, that broke the guard in itself nearly. Yeah, and if you do a yellow attack from far away and they're ready to block it, just cancel it into his quirk too. Wait, why did it end up on the ground? What is happening? <laughs> um, wait, let me just break his guard. But yeah, if you do this from far away, cancel it into this, and then cancel it into that, and then, you know, the guard's gonna break. You haven't spent any meter. There are some gaps, like with the yellow attack, you can, like, sidestep, or, like, do things, but... It catches a lot of people, because even on whip you can cancel them to these, so if you sidestep you do have to still block them. So yeah, pretty weird stuff. Pretty strong stuff as well. Um, yeah, um, see, like, you can always cancel it into the buttons. And yeah, that's the most interesting thing, is when the opponent's blocking, you can do really cool pressure using his yellow attack. Um, yeah, okay, his red attack? It's kind of, it's like, okay, it has below average distance and it's kind of slow, but at least you can combo off of it. To get some okay damage, 9000 damage, that's pretty okay. Anyways, let's get into his quirk buttons, which is, they're basically all the same, so <laughs> what's the point? But his quirk one is this move, where he kind of just rolls into the opponent. It does pretty decent damage, like 4000 damage, which is pretty high for like, a um, charge in roll. It's pretty good, you know, like, what is there to say about it? You could, like, if you want to get in on the opponent... Actually, one thing I'll say about it is that it's, like, practically always safe, because you either cancel into, like, another button quickly, or you just, like, dash cancel. 
and like so if you see the opponent block it, you just dash cancel and then go into his like infinite block strings. But a lot of the time he actually just goes like through the opponent. I don't know why he's not doing it here, but a lot of the time when they block it, he just goes straight past them. And I don't know why it's not happening now. Yeah, whatever. Kinda like that, except he's on the other side of the screen. Um Yeah, what this uh, move is actually I think its main use is, is it's really good for catching sidesteps, so any sidestep or any even like horizontal dashing, this thing's tracking is amazing and it's gonna track your opponent to hell and they just can't avoid it. So you the opponent bakes oh my god, basically. <laughs> they basically have to block it. There's nothing they can do to avoid it, and if you know that it's gonna hit, you can get a combo off of it. Pretty easily and consistently. Because, like, if you see that they're doing anything except blocking, just do a dash cancel, because you know you're going to hit them. Or actually, do a dash cancel either way, because if they block it, you need a dash cancel to keep yourself safe. So, yeah, you're just going to always be pressing this button, doing a dash cancel, going into a combo, or going into block pressure, because it's always going to hit the opponent. It's pretty amazing for catching, especially characters like Bakugo, who just like to run around and, like, then randomly come in, just catches running with this, and yeah, you're set. Okay, this Tilt Quirk one is actually one of his interesting moves. It's kind of an anti-air roll, and it's one of your main uh, combo extenders from his ground string. That's how it will get the most damage. And that's basically his main use. It can be used as an anti-air, it does decent damage. It's gonna what you're going to use to do most of his regular combos, so something like this is a regular bread and butter combo, 8300, not very good. You can bring in a support, like Shigaraki, or you don't fail like I do. There we go, and you get 10,500 damage, which brings his damage up to regular, so that was for a single dash cancel and a support, which is pretty good. Um, yeah, this move can be good as an anti-air as well, like after Mirio's Tilt Quirk 1, his uppercut or whatever, but yeah. Um, by the way, his Quirk 1 in the air is just like the same version except it's in the air, but his Tilt Quirk 1, I don't really understand the point, it's kind of just a slower version of the Quirk 1 in the air, and it does less damage, and it brings you both into the air high together. I, yeah, I don't really see the point. If you're in the air, you're always gonna be like doing this one or the Quirk, the Tilt Attack, because it's really cool. But yeah, if you're in the air and you do this, then you can get some damage. Yeah. Okay. Now, his Quirk 2 is this All Might-esque Punch String. If you press it, it just does that 4,500-ish damage. You can mash the button to add a few more hits, and it does like 3,900. Obviously, in either form, it's a very good wall splat tool, because it sends the opponent flying. In the air, you can actually mash the button even more to make it do some more damage, and it'll do make it go for longer. For So it's how you're always going to end your combos in the air, basically every time. Because it also has amazing, just like, infinite properties. So if I put Bakugo on recovery... Because most people do recoveries when you're playing online, like, constantly. You can get, like, an infinite combo if your opponent decides to be recovering the whole time. Because every time they recover, you can just dash after them and do your combo again. And because it's, they recovered, it's going to be full damage, so you're getting uh, 6,400 damage on, t on top of 6,400 damage. So you're, it quickly adds up to tons and tons of damage if your d opponent decides to recover. Which is pretty good, because then you're scaring them into not recovering, so you can get some kind of interesting combos like this one, which works if the opponent doesn't recover. But, yeah, scaring your opponent into not recovering is always a really interesting thing to do. Okay. Um, yeah. This moves your combo ender. You saw the combo before. Okay. Still Quirk 2 is just this, like, stupid looking uh, Beyblade spinning move. I don't really see the point of this move. It's kind of just like a larger hitbox version of his Quirk 1, but also travels slower. And I don't really see the point of this, like, it gets the same job done as his Quirk 1. It's a multi-hitting move that does some damage. Like, you can dash cancel to get a combo. I, I just don't see why, like, 
His moveset's just kind of boring, guys. Like, he can do this, or he can do this spinning move. Like, which spin do you want to do? And in the air, just like this, it acts practically the exact same. So, yep, that's that move. You can use it to try and get some damage with his um, plus ultra one, but, spoilers, his plus ultra one's kind of garbage. <laughs> wow! 5,600 damage, that's good. Okay, well, now we're up to his plus ultra one. The most damage I've found you can get is like two hits into his plus ultra one. And then that maybe does some damage, but even that is super unreliable. Sometimes he just completely misses and you only get, what, like 3,000 damage? Just kind of pathetic. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Fun times. Okay, uh, let's get into his combos now. So, a regular bread and butter combo with Nomu is going to be two hits into his tilt quirk one, dash cancel, two hits into mash his quirk two string, 8300 damage. Not great, but I haven't really been able to find anything that, that does any more, so that's what we're going with. Um, using supports actually increases his damage like quite a bit, especially with um, this Shigaraki support that I have, you know, because it's kind of canon, you know, Shigaraki and all for one. I like having cannon teams, but there we go, 10,600 damage uh, for a single dash cancel, and it didn't really cost anything for Shigaraki because he's back by the end of the combo, so yeah. That's how I usually do it. Shigaraki's a really good support for this, because if you see uh, I use someone like Overhaul, I mean all for one, because he's actually a combo dedicated support, like you can tell that he's meant for combo since he grabs the opponent. Um, the, da the combo does a lot less damage because he scales the combo a lot more, and he comes back slower. He comes back slower, so I don't really use all for one for combos that often. So I usually use Shigaraki, jump into the air, and then do this combo again. And there we go. Pretty good damage. Shigaraki's nearly back. Single dash cancel. Yeah. <laughs> um. A lot of people like to tell me exactly how I'm timing the combo, so I do two hits, and then when I go into the Tilt Quirk 1, as soon as he goes into the air, I bring out Shigaraki, jump into the air, two hits, mash Quirk 2, dash cancel, oops. You can actually sometimes leave this whole string to hit, if you, oh, especially if you get a wall splat. Ah. And sometimes you can get slightly more damage that way. Oops, what is happening? But yeah, Shigaraki is good at extending supports. I'll try and show a double extended combo. If I get the wall splat here, and you basically just do the same thing again. Except this time it didn't cost me a dash cancel at all, and Shigaraki's is back, so 11,300 damage is pretty good damage for no dash cancels and just a wall splat, so yeah. Um, obviously you're gonna get a little bit extra damage if you do his red attack at the start of a combo. Um, you know, just adds a bit. You don't want to extend it too much because it'll meet your blow earlier, but you know, 10,500 for zero dash cancels is pretty good damage. Okay, that's basically all the combos you want. You need to know for Nomu. Um, another thing I want to mention with combos though, is if your opponent is on recovery, which is what everyone's going to be doing if you're playing online, everyone just recovers all the time, um, but he has recovery mix-ups. So if, say I've done my whole combo, which is decent damage. And I've ended my combo. Oh wait, damn it! Wait, no, it can't be that extended. Pretend I've just done a like a sort of here. Good, good demonstrations, Mr. Elbrum. This is gonna meaty blow, isn't it? Damn it! Okay, wait. Just say I've done a small little combo. This like this regular one with no dash cancels. If your opponent recovers and you've ended with your like tilt quirk, uh, your quirk two, 
you can dash after them and just like keep doing this like infinitely. It doesn't cost you a dash cancel, but if they oh, unless you time it badly like I did just then, it will cost you a dash cancel. But see if they recover, and because they're recovering, the damage is completely reset. So you can just keep doing this, and you're gonna add 6,400 damage to the end of your combo every time. And yeah, as long as your opponent keeps recovering this, you can keep getting this guaranteed. And it's surprising how many times I can actually get this online. Like how many times the opponent keeps recovering and I keep getting an extra 6,400 damage. Which if you add that on top of the 10,000 damage um, combo he's doing before, 16,000 damage? Pretty good. Pretty good for a character that I say is weak. But yeah. Um, and you're going to scare your opponent into stop recovering, and when they stop recovering... You can try and do some interesting combos like this. Uh, they don't really give you that much, so it's not really that worth it. But it is really good to have the um, recovery mix-ups, because they're something that's really useful online. Because you'll definitely catch your opponent like two or three times with, with the recovery mix-ups. And adding a 6,400 damage, just like little thing to the end of your combo is really good. And you don't even have to just do that little bit, so like, say I've done my... Oh, he's not on recovery, is he? <laughs> so I've done my little combo, he recovers. I can do a dash cancel combo and you get a guaranteed 8,000 damage. And if, so, like, he got hit by a normal combo, and then he got hit by another, like, whole combo just for recovering. And I can keep doing that as long as he recovers. So, yeah. Um, sorry, but I think that's, like, basically all I have to say about Nomu. He has really interesting block strings using his yellow attack. He can practically always instantly break your guard. Um, unless you use a guard, can uh, guard cancel or whatever. He has okay combos that become, like, decent damage if you use, um, the Shigaraki support or some other support. Just generally not, um, supports that are intended for combos, because then it does a bit less damage. But you see, like that, with this Shigaraki, I got 10,600. But yeah, he does decent damage. He has kind of annoying buttons that people like to spam when playing online. And, yeah, that's basically Nomu, guys. <laughs> Just press all these, like, weird buttons. He has so many spinning moves. Put the opponents in the air. Do this one. Because it catches them in the air. Then you can get your combo if they're on the ground. Do this one. If they're running around, do this one. Because it tracks them, like, forever. Um, if they're zoning you, do this. Because you'll belly flop all the way across the screen onto them. And even if they block it, you can go in for crazy block stuff into it again. And then, <laughs> yeah. It, he's kind of... he's a little bit fun. I'll, I take it back. He's a little bit fun. But he doesn't have a plus ultra 2, and his plus ultra 1 is just like... Just his tilt quirk 1 a bunch of times? Like, what? But yeah, he's... I don't th He's definitely not my favorite character. <laughs> but, now that I've finished talking about Nomu, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys!